Will? Yeah, Bob and Lenise, things are much quieter now here at Vulcan Inc., uh, but earlier firefighters were triaging about 50 people that were in Plant 1 at the time of the explosion. And right now I'm joined by Fire Chief uh, Joseph Darby to give us an update. Good evening, Chief. Hi, good evening. So uh, where, where do things stand at this point? Now we're, we're a few hours removed, you know, all the, the fire crews are off-site. Uh, where, where do things stand with your investigation? Uh, we wrapped up our operation shortly before 2 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, we were able to completely extinguish all the hot spots and actually uh, worked with plant officials to remove the involved equipment uh, so they could begin the, the work of cleanup. Uh, we are working with several agencies in the investigative part uh, just to determine exactly what happened to cause the explosion and, and fire. I uh, do have an update uh, on the patients. Uh, we had two workers uh, that worked on the machine that was involved that were both critically burned. Uh, one was flown direct here from the scene. Uh, that patient is still at uh, USA Medical Center. Uh, they are still analyzing him in hopes of even, either getting him in the burn unit there at USA or transferring to UAB in Birmingham. Uh, the other victim was taken locally to South Baldwin and then transported uh, by life flight to uh, UAB uh, in Birmingham because the USA Center is, is full at this time. So uh, that's uh, all the information I have on, on their status other than they were critically injured here today. And uh, just because, like you were telling me earlier, there's some, you know, magnesium in plant one. So it was, it was kind of a, a bit of a tricky situation for your guys going in and tackling the blaze this morning, right? Absolutely. A critical situation for us, uh, identifying exactly uh, where the, the nature of the problem uh, lied in the plant and, and trying to make a determination where we could apply uh, various chemicals or water or other suppression agents uh, because we could create our own volatile situation uh, going in, especially with, ma with a magnesium component uh, and applying water to, to that very volatile metal. All right. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us, Chief. Yeah. Thank you. And we're going to continue to follow what's going on here at Vulcan Inc. and uh, keep you updated on the status of those victims. But for now, reporting outside in Foley, I'm Will Robinson-Smith, Fox 10 News. Thank you, Will.